The huge diversity of night flying moths often go unnoticed during their nocturnal activities. However, there are a few tricks you can do to get close encounters with these incredible creatures. Let's take a look. Many night flying moths are attracted to light, so the easiest way to view them is to shine a bright light onto a white sheet and wait to see what turns up. You can turn the odds in your favour by providing a few extra treats to your moth visitors. One technique is called sugaring. Boil up some black treacle, beer and brown sugar to create a sticky solution to paint onto trees and fence posts. Be extra careful to apply a very thin layer in narrow bands or there's a risk a visiting moth will get stuck and die happy. The final activity you could do is moth trapping. There are many types of moth trap and this is a Robinson trap, essentially a giant plastic bucket. Place empty egg boxes on the inside around the edge. This will give your moths a place to hide. Stick on the lid and the bulb. The bulb is a special type known as a mercury vapour bulb that emits a higher proportion of ultraviolet light, which moths find more attractive. It's extremely bright, so be very careful not to look directly at it. Make sure the moth trap also has a rain guard, which stops the bulb shattering if it's hit by cold water. Put the moth trap outside, switch it on and leave all night. Check the trap early next morning, before the moths heat up and fly away and before your local robin eats them all. Opening up the trap is a bit like having a birthday. You never quite know what presents are in store. Spend some time identifying the moths, then pop them out on some vegetation or somewhere dark so they'll be safe until they fly away. Sometimes you'll get an extra surprise and find creatures inside the trap that aren't moths. Now, moth traps are expensive, so you might want to consider building your own, and we've provided links to instructions on our website. However, you'd still need the bulb, which is extra money, so the best thing to do is look out for moth events at your local nature reserve. A major citizen science event is National Moth Night, run by the Moths Count organisation. Be sure to check out their website and find out when the next one is. Well, that concludes our brief guide to looking for moths. Hopefully you'll give one of these methods a try, and if you have any success, be sure to send us some photos. Good luck, and until next time.